remember borrowing $160 from your boss? I do. In two checks, one for $100 and one for $60? I think so. It was like 100 I thought he wrote one for... Well, I got the checks here. Okay. He, he wrote one for 100 and he wrote one for 60 Okay. I also have the back of the check here that has your endorsement on it, and it says it was deposited in the bank on the 10th of December in South Carolina. Okay. Now, how can you sign this check? It's dated on the 8th, so you got it on the 8th. You deposited it on the 10th. I've got the bank stamp with your signature right here. Mm -hmm. How could you be in South Carolina depositing this man's check if you're getting killed up in Alaska? <laughs> I didn't fake it. I mean, it, misinformation was given. I there's understand. no misinformation here. No, there's this no is misinformation the that is, there. Is, that, is this the check? That's... And he gave that to you on the 8th. That is a check. Okay. You deposited it here. The bank stamp is on the 10th. How could you be right. in How could you be in Carolina on the 8th? Apparently I wasn't. When he's giving you a check and you're depositing it on the 10th when you're doing 3 days in the hospital on the 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I mean, there's no way around it, you know, and I came here So to... you weren't in Alaska. Eventually, yes. Come on, let's on, tell you. Know. <laughs> Let's just tell the let's tell the I truth. I am. I here. came here to tell the truth. Well, then Bill. let's get to it. Because here's let's another check for a hundred dollars, and and it's it's deposited at the same time. Yeah. Here's a letter you wrote to a friend, and that's that's your writing right there. And this is the postmark in South Carolina on the 11th of December. You posted a letter out of South Carolina on the 11th of December when you supposedly are getting crushed by a crab pot. <laughs> you weren't in Alaska. Todd, come on. She's right. You were never in Alaska. No, sir. <laughs> uh, she hit it right on the head. No, I was, I was nervous about the charges and, and everything that was going on with her court case. Okay, so you did fake your death. I didn't want to go to that extreme. He kind of took that on his own, but... You knew that he was writing her and telling her you were dead. I didn't want her to know anywhere where I was, and it was extreme and totally irrational, and she's exactly right. Because you understand, we, we got a picture here that was downloaded from the internet from a Ukrainian website posted in May of 09. Yes, sir. We've got letters from JF to her telling her that you got crushed by a crab pot, knocked overboard, and drowned. <laughs> then you say, actually, no, I wasn't drowned. I was just incapacitated. I spent three days in the hospital. You didn't spend three days in no, the hospital sir. because we've talked to the hospital and you yes, were never sir. there. You can't work on a processing boat in a fishery up there without a license and we've talked to the Alaska wildlife people. You never got a license. You couldn't work there. We've talked to your boss that said you worked for him in that entire time. We've talked to the woman you're renting a room from that says you never left. So all of this time this was going on, he was around the corner at somebody else's house sending you Ukrainian boat pictures <laughs> reporting his death. Now, let me ask you something. Shoot. We started this interview with me saying, let's be, be honest. honest. Yes, you're right. And you said, yes, it's sir. It's embarrassing, You Dr. said, Jill. yes, sir, I came here to be honest. And I said, you know I'm going to get to it's the bottom. It's Because you know I do my homework. I've you given do. you a tenth of what I got. I knew you were never in Alaska. I knew you were never knocked off by a crab pot. I knew that all of this was a bunch of crap. And I asked you, I pleaded with you when you came out here, I said, tell me the truth. It's, that part's embarrassing. And that's hard to swallow and say. It's just totally embarrassing. And it's hard to sit out here in front of all these people and say you did something so totally irrational that now I can't even believe okay. that I was a part of. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.